Hey guys, this is Olivier and you're watching the Internet of Things show. Today we have Sam from Codit who came to talk to us about real life scenarios, the real usage of our platforms and in particular around the intelligent edge. Hey Sam, how are you? Nice to meet you Olivier. Good. So I'm doing fine. So Codit is one of our elite partners, right? Mm -hmm. So can you tell people who are watching actually what exactly that means and what are you doing with our products? Yeah. So I'll keep it short and, and focus on the IoT um, thing. So we are based in uh, Europe, seven countries there, um, 160 people. And actually we focus on um, helping customers build their own products. So we don't build product specific or business specific products, but we help our customers that typically make devices and, and sell these devices to their customers. Okay. We want to help them enabling IoT solutions. Yeah. And we use Azure for that. W would you say that these customers might not have the resources or the skills to implement their IoT solutions on their own? And they, that's when you guys, who are experts on our technologies, mm -hmm. can help them, right? Well, they have their own development teams, but they typically come from the industrial um, components. So mm -hmm. they are very skilled in the hardware components okay. and, and writing software for that. But the whole cloud enablement and, and internet connection, that's where the, the complexities are that okay. are new for them. Okay. That's where we want to help. Yeah. Okay. So there's a particular area or, or um, you know, set of problems that you, you wanted to talk about today. So mm -hmm. tell me a bit more about that. Yeah. So actually what, um, what everyone talks about, if, if you see IoT reference cases from Microsoft and so on, mm -hmm. is about where the value gets created. And, and I think we all agree that that is happening on the right side of, of my, my diagram where you have yeah. the cloud. Mm -hmm. That's where you do your data analytics, your predictions, that's where all the power is. At the other hand, what we see is that customers sometimes, um, especially if, if you go from a proof of concept into a real world scenario, mm -hmm. that edge is extremely crucial. You have to get it right from the beginning. If you start making your devices and you ship them to customers, um, you have to get the security right. I think we yeah. all agree with that. Yeah. But what you also have to realize is that once a device leaves your factory and mm -hmm. it gets installed, Often you don't even know who and where it gets installed. You don't know about the internet connection. You don't know about um, what if my product has a bug? How can I fix it? Mm -hmm. And that's where I believe Edge is extremely important. You know, making sure that you can still control it. Um, mm -hmm. Because we all know that software developers write bugs, that there might be memory <laughs> issues, that there might be security things yeah. that are secure today yeah. Yeah. or not secure in 10 yeah. years. You have to be able to patch and update that. Okay. And when you say patch, we're saying things that can go all the way down to updating a firmware, right? It's something yeah. that goes all the way down to that. It could be your, the firmware of your um, connected devices. It could yeah. be the, yeah. the software you have deployed in your mm -hmm. IoT solution. Okay. And that's where we really want to make um, you know, the effort. And, and it's all about connectivity. Okay. And, and fixing your cloud platform, mm -hmm. that's easy. It's, it's in your reach. You just connect to the Azure portal, to your mm -hmm. development environment, and you have access. You yep, fix yep. it. Develop, uh, testing and, and, and updating a device that is deployed in China, okay. outside of your own network, mm -hmm. that's a, def a that's different a problem. Uh, thing. Okay. Yeah. So how are you addressing that? What is it that you're uh, bringing to the table for doing yeah. that? Actually, we, we build on your um, platform. Okay. So we all know that Microsoft is, is a, a platform company. Mm -hmm. And with the um, announcements of Edge, um, that is yeah. at this moment in preview, and the, the V1 was um, out for a long time already. Um, we get the value that um, you have mo a modular approach mm -hmm. um, to deploy edge devices. So it's software based. It yeah. runs on virtually any type of hardware, yep. from a small Raspberry Pi size of thing mm -hmm. to a big server if you want. Um, and we get your framework where we push updates, we push modules, um, we configure them remotely. Um, and what we have done is actually make sure that we we build a product on top of that. Okay. So you have the you have the framework and the platform, okay. and we add multiple modules. Uh, you know, remote monitoring, a nice uh, user experience. Okay. So you're basically building a layer on top of our Azure IoT Edge and IoT Hub platforms yeah. in order to to create something that's more focused, I guess, on a vertical on a type of scenario. Well. But we don't want to verticalize too much okay. because that's not our core strength. Our core mm -hmm. strength is really technical um, excellence. Okay. Um, the customers are building the vertical specifics, and that's what happens on the right side Got of my diagram. It. That's Got where it. you have your data. What we want to do is the whole connectivity challenge and uh -huh. retrofitting and all these things. Okay. That's where we use Edge and try to make that a commodity, that customers can just use that. So your Edge device as a commodity, I like that. Yeah. Okay, awesome. You want to show us a bit? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's not an extensive demo. We want to keep it, keep it short and interesting mm -hmm. um, enough. But what I have here is my, my, my portal where I can manage all the gateways that I have deployed uh, in my environment. Okay. And actually, I created one um, for you. And it's not a, 
I don't have any devices because we, we want to keep yeah. it uh, lightweight. But here I have my um, uh, my simulated device running. Mm -hmm. um, that is now just outputting the time to to IoT Hub, so nothing okay. too important. So that's running the IoT uh, the Azure IoT Edge runtime. Yes. A set of modules. Yeah. All of that has been deployed from your portal through IoT Hub onto the Edge runtime. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And what I want to show as an example of how to control things from a, from the cloud from a central place yep. is really to have the ability, and I think my um, gateway is here. So you see it's connected. Yeah. If I click here, what I'll try to do here is um, update the packages. So packages mm -hmm. are modules, edge modules. Okay. So what I'll do, and uh, I'll actually reduce my screen a little bit so that you can see in the background um, that my device is still running there. Um, I will add one of the modules that we have, mm -hmm. which is the rules engine. Okay. So we all know that rules engines are extremely important. So these, I'll search for the rules engine here, and I'll say the latest version of the module, the rules engine. I will now add it, and once I click this button, update configuration, you will see in the black simulated device that actually a push, a trigger is sent, mm -hmm. and that the whole new configuration is being um, you know, pushed to that device. Okay. The latest version of that um, rules engine is being mm -hmm. downloaded, and I'm able to start using it. Okay. So that's important. Um, if that rules engine would have an, an issue, a mm -hmm. bug, yeah. is just updating it from a central place that Got becomes, becomes important. Got it. And you relying on the IoT Edge and Azure IoT Hub platform allows you to not have to take care of the plumbing, connectivity and, and synchronization of the yeah. state of the device yeah. with the cloud and so on, as things that are taken care of. You focus on adding the value on these modules yeah. and the management exactly. of the module. So we want to add modules, we want to add the monitoring, you know, all that experience, multi-tenancy. Okay. That's, that's the the value we want to add mm -hmm. on top of your um, yeah, stable runtime. That's okay. actually the, okay. the things that we want to do. Awesome. I think it's pretty clear. Fantastic mm -hmm. use of the IT Edge and IT Hub platforms. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Sam. Yeah, thank you. It was Thanks nice to guys. be here.